Hey, me again. Um, this video is going to be titled Expanding and Contracting Universe Cycling Forever. Okay, it's a good title, I think. And it's mine. Okay, by the way, um, by the way, I wrote all of what I'm about to read. Uh, I wrote it in like a, do a WordPad document. So, um, and I wrote this yesterday. Today is Banamana, uh, the March 19th, uh, 2014, and it's Wednesday. Happy Humpa Day, Humpa Humpa. <laughs> but to my video to pass on some pretty deep knowledge, okay? And I want you to really think about this, and I'm, I'm putting it out there, even though I have a feeling that most people who see this are going to either need to slow it down or go back and watch it again because I'm going to speak slow when I read some of this but it's just so that I don't speak too fast okay because it's not I'm not doing it to sound rude I'm doing it like for your perspective I'm doing it because I know that I ramble so I'm doing it because it's my bad okay so um, yeah, to the learning, okay? And I want you to center yourself. I want you to close your eyes, maybe even, and visualize the infinite spiraling galaxies expanding outwards, and how small and how vast the space must be that we perceive as empty space in between these. And then I want you to, at the same time, imagine that Everything is interconnected, even to the most minute detail, smallest little piece. And there isn't even a smallest little piece. That's the, that's the trick for this, is that it's it's a scale like a fractal, and it forever goes inwards and it forever goes outwards, forever going in, forever going out. That's what a lot of these spiral things have to do with, and that's why snakes and things are mentioned in so many ancient uh, mythologies. And there's statues and so many things where they're sacred because it doesn't only represent our DNA but it also represents the frequencies and vibrations of everything that is and everything that ever will be around us and that isn't really around us because we are it because even our perception is a result of these frequency interactions at higher levels and degrees Now I'm going to read you my, my blurb that I wrote down last night. It says, Imagine, imagining void space, no waves, and definitely no matter. Okay? And just, because you got it, it's a story. And you really got to start at the beginning in order to, so I'm going to add on to it, okay? Sorry, my bad. Imagining void space, no waves, and definitely no matter, as waves from surrounding expanding energy systems, expanding galaxies, and the radiations therefore produced from them, move through our voided space. They create a unique energy interference, or dance, of musical interaction. As much time progresses, the physical matter now seems precipitated out of void space. Remember, however, this was only truly void space at the beginning of this talk, and that in true nature there are no truly void spaces, at least to say that we have not reached or expanded there yet. We can now say that hydrogen has formed a nebula. This, of course, is the lightest element we recognize because it has reached a similar enough energy vibration to interact with our matter. We call this density, but for all intensive purposes, it is an energy vibration throughout its whole, existing at different octaves and pitches depending upon where individual existence has been experienced. 
Knowing this, you must then consider that all matter has already existed before its coalescence into our perceptions, but it existed before in divided and less energetically bound states, but nonetheless existed before. The nebula continues to rise in energy. More hydrogen is precipitated out and condensed into matter. This growth rate is constantly increasing, but with minor fluctuations depending on the source of the incoming waves. It is forever increasing because it has more energy. It will have more potential to collect or interfere with other energies. More simply put, as its volume of space that it occupies increases, so too does its absorption capacity, unifying them in a sense, but not in a sense that you would think of. More of a dance, because no matter how high of an energy state is reached, the polarity can never be truly unified as nothing because they revolve around the nothing. And at the final levels of our perceived energy states, matter breaks down into its original waves due to outside pressure and inside density, expanding outwards from the poles of galaxies, forever continuing our growth of life and of intelligence. Matter is a tool energy is using to become more aware of itself. Higher energy states allow for more developed or complex being, more developed senses, like eyes, but it further furthers much more from here because whose eyes are then formed? The creator's eyes, because the fulcrums are everywhere, in place where there is bound matter. We are all moving away from the fulcrum of the source of everything, or voidness of space, but as we develop, we realize that we are creation, and the more complex our energy wave signature, the higher our perception of the expression of creation. There are many complex cycles, all continuing forever and forever growing. Think of the symbol of infinity, and that as the matter is cycled through its density levels, Life is forever being born and continuing to learn. So too do old ideas and beliefs, complexes die. So now we see a golden symbol of infinity growing forever, with itself and by itself, but as a complex team for true understanding that we are all one and are growing forever more complex and we will gain more insights and knowledge of the creation as our perceptions expand. Um, um yeah, <laughs> that's what I wrote last night. Um, that was all my words, and I hope you have enjoyed this. I hope it has expanded your understanding and increased, I hope impart information has been imparted through this means this medium to your consciousness and and maybe even rewatch it if you have time or watch it tomorrow or whenever but but make a date for me and I'll meet you back here later <laughs> love you all and and you should all love each other love love everyone like enough of this hate stuff like okay you're gonna pick a team it's fear or love Pick the love, okay? Because that's the team I'm going to be on. And I'll be there with you. Mwah!